there besties, how are we doing today? So it's been a rough week in my mental health world, I'm not gonna lie to you. I did try to record a video earlier this week. I got a like a green screen backdrop, well a white screen a backdrop. It looked horrible. <laughs> I was like going back and forth, like, should I still upload this? Should I not? But I, I can't, it looks awful. And reacting to mukbangs, like, I hate it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Cause like, just the sound of like eating and chewing is just not it for me. So I was like, all right, well, our girl wants to do some mukbangs. I'm just gonna not engage with that content this week. So here I am, this time engaging with a food haul, which is similar to a mukbang, just minus the eating. So with that being said, let's do this. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Okay, so we have a Trader Joe's haul. I, someone recently... My brain is identifying those earrings as gauges. I know that they're not, but can we get a gauge Lynn era? That'd be amazing. If Miss Amberlynn got some gauges, go off. Was saying how I keep buying food. Isn't that kind of like what I should be doing? Like buy the food from the grocery store so I don't order takeout. It just makes the most sense. Oh, I have a receipt. I, excuse me? <laughs> what the f*** was that? <laughs> That, that is like, what? Girl, why do you, why, bestie girl? Side note, if you keep cash money in your bra, stop. Do not hand that to a cashier, I swear to everything in my soul. As somebody who's worked in customer service for like pretty much my whole life, when people reach in their bra, hand me their sweaty boob dollars. I've almost quit like eight times, just walked out like, uh-uh, I don't get paid enough money for this, no ma'am. Don't do that. <laughs> in my bra, I just realized. All right, Interesting. we have three full bags of Trader Joe's stuff. So oh boy. let's get into it. Okay, not gonna lie. I just got so sad because I got tamales last time I went to Trader Joe's so good. I forgot to get them, but whatever. Okay, first thing is organic garlic non crackers, which okay. I'm so excited for. Some sourdough bread. So this is a random, I'm just moving this. This water was in there. This is a random um, thing. I don't use scooters anymore <laughs> good hey you know what like people might joke about that but that's awesome i'm really glad to hear that i'm not crazy about her buying like excessive amounts of food i understand her point where she's like okay well like i'm buying a lot of food but i'm not buying a lot of takeout i mean frankly it's it's still just as wasteful in principle if not more wasteful it's healthier yes but it's it's definitely more wasteful because at least when you're buying takeout you're only buying like the specific ingredients you need if that makes sense whereas when you're buying like all of this food like maybe you do eat it i, I don't know obviously Obviously. but there's gonna be things that like go rotten there's there's gonna be things that expire you know so it, the, the likelihood i mean I, do, I don't know i would say the likelihood is you're not gonna actually eat all of that food so you're throwing away money uh, i guess you, you don't care about that whatever but for me it's more of like the environmental impact you know the plastic the cardboard all of that i also feel like it's a little like trolling to keep doing these like food hauls and like i was looking at her thumbnails for the mukbangs and like they're very like they're very troll like like you know fear factor clickbait kind of thing where she's just like shoveling the food in her mouth like so i'm a little worried she's getting into a troll Lynn era again that's not good for anybody i would say steer away from that you're on a good path with your psychologist outpatient moment so i'd say just roll with that i, I like a good troll not necessarily a troll limb but a good troll but when it comes to trolling about like your health and your mental health and all that i don't think that's a place where you should troll. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm very proud of that, okay? You should be. All right. That's awesome. I'm just a normal person walking in the store. Cool. And I have a hole in my pants. Okay. Well. <laughs> I'm going on a whole other... Okay. I like so, that shirt. So, baked cheese crunchies. My girlfriend hates Cheetos. She tried these and she likes these. So, okay. got some of them. Oh, this is like the snack bag. Wait until you see this. We got some plantain chips because I tried plantain chips for the first time. Last time I got those. My new favorite thing. They're oh, this is good. for Twinkie. Mint of breath bones. They are pretty big. So I think only half at a time. Oh, yeah, those are big. Makes sense to me. <laughs> That's like as big as Twonky's head. <laughs> um, These are plant-based porkless snack rinds. Like, I love pork rinds. Oh, I don't. So I saw this and I was like, you know what? I want to try it. Just in case I like it. Another bag for my girlfriend or for me. Um, another bag of plantain chips. See, my only concern is like surrounding yourself with all of these... 
Hey, hi, how are ya? Starting yourself with all these snacks, like while they're intended for your girlfriend, I would I worry that that could be a trigger for you because at least if you keep your house full of like, you know, fruits and vegetables and, and you know, then like if you have like a binge moment, at least you only have fruits and vegetables to binge on. But when you have all these snacks, like what happens if and when you get super stressed and like you're, you're triggered to binge, then you'll clear out your whole snack cabinet, you know? Like it's just, it's like, I feel like it could be like counterproductive to your recovery. That's just my only concern with that. It doesn't mean that your girlfriend like isn't allowed to have snacks, but I guess if it was me and my partner was going through this, I would not have snacks. I would kind of support their journey by kind of going on it with them. I mean, snacks are great, <laughs> sure. But like when your partner is like, you know, crippled by this eating disorder, maybe it's okay to like remove that from your life also like in solidarity and support. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's just me. And then we got three bags of the sour cream and onion flavored rings. They're lentil and rice snacks. Mm -hmm. So we did three of those. I do have two more bags, but right at the end, um, you know, when you're paying for your stuff and they have all that like little goods on the side, we just, we caved. We got some white gum peppermint. We got Trader Joe's gum mint flavored chewing gum. And cool berries mints. So we got some of them. My other concern that I'm having is it feels like she might be replacing her like clothing and like Walmart hauls with food haul. Oh, my cat just stepped on the thing. But that's that's concerning for me because if her obsession with food has gotten to the point where she's replacing her, I guess, obsession with clothing with food, you know what I mean? Like that's, that's concerning for me. And also she just went grocery shopping like last week and said that she was shopping for a couple weeks. So why did she need to buy this much again this week? Sure, if she bought all that last week for two weeks, like, okay. So then why is she buying the same amount of food again? That's implying that that first week wasn't actually for two weeks. Either she burned through all that food in one week or she's just adding to like a stock pie like it, it's kind of like a purchasing obsession kind of thing which she struggles with she has like shopping issues as we know Bye. so we have been getting pizza lately and you know what i don't want to order it so i bought some roasted garlic and pesto pizza I also, I keep interrupting her, but I just want to say just because you get it from the grocery store doesn't mean that it's healthier necessarily. If anything, if you're getting it from the grocery store, it's like frozen and like preservatives and stuff. Oh, good. Uh, it's four Italian cheeses, cashew and pine nut pesto, and a chewy Naples style crust. I don't know what Naples means, but okay. Do you know what Naples means, bestie? It's a location. I'm not cultured and I know that. <laughs> I got some chicken nuggets made from plants, so veggie nuggets. Some cauliflower gnocchi. We both liked the gnocchi last time that we got. It was like the uh, mozzarella and marinara was on the inside. Um, those I think are just plain cauliflower. We got two things of chicken and four cheese raviolis. We split one of these with like pesto for lunch, and it's nice. Get some job done. Um, Thai vegetable geysas. They're pretty much like a pot sticker. I mean for the most part, um, pot stickers and things like this are so low calorie, like um, for three pieces is 160, but at Trader Joe's, they didn't have it this time, they have chicken pot stickers where it's seven of them is only 200 calories, so. What are you doing? What are you doing? I heard you making crazy noises. What are you doing? Oh, I love you. You're literally my whole world. Do you know that? Wow, got some hash browns. I've been kind of craving that. And I got panko breaded tilapia fillets. I figured we could try this one night. Well, why don't you just get tilapia and like bread it yourself? Tilapia and fish in general is like very good for you. I don't know if frozen tilapia is necessarily as healthy for you, you know? Um, I don't know, sounds good. All right, last bag. I love how Trader Joe's like packs their groceries. Have you guys noticed that it's just like- I've never been. Pleasing. Titi? I just heard a big bang upstairs. Are you okay? I heard a big bang. Apparently she's okay and she's going back upstairs, so we're good. <laughs> to the eye. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Okay, so we got some maple chicken breakfast sausage to have that with like eggs or hash browns. Um, shit, even in a ramen would be good, my girlfriend said. Um, okay. We got some sliced apples. Yum. Some fresh cut watermelon. Oh, I was so yeah. sad I wanted fresh cut pineapple because I don't know what it is, but their fresh cut fruit literally tastes like candy. They didn't have any. So I got um, just a mix that had pineapple in it. Got some brie cheese. Uh, my girlfriend loves it. I have never had it. So I am excited to try. 10 out of 10 recommend this. These are 
red lentil pastas. Yeah, um, I like lentil pasta. A pasta that <laughs> we we uh, named it Daddy's pasta. Okay. Um, and she, why do I wanna know? She used that recently for it. So good. We're gonna have to show the recipe. Okay. We got some pesto because we like it with raviolis. Um, we like to make sandwiches with it. Got some chicken spring rolls, white meat chicken with basil, garlic, and ginger. I'm really excited to try that. We got. Hey, I see you over there. Got three cheese, Romano, Parmesan, Asiago, pasta sauce, and last two things are some more chicken sausage, roasted garlic, and spicy jalapeno. So that is everything. Yeah, that is it for the grocery haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Yeah, I don't know, besties. I'm not feeling great after seeing that. How I'm interpreting it, I could be wrong, is that she went through the food that she meant to be for two weeks and one week, which is why she had to do another large grocery haul, which isn't like a good sign. It makes me, makes me a little, little nervous, you know what I mean? I don't know, besties. What are you thinking? What are you feeling? <laughs> Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on your way out. My goal for 2022 is 15,000 subscribers. I would be honored if you joined the ranks today. And speaking of subscribers, Subscribe. I gotta give an extra special shout out to my beloved channel members. Seabell, Senya, Sophie Watson, Lukey, Betty, Katie Butler, Elizabeth W, Chloe D, Panda, Fawn De Silva, Mystic Magic Luna Meowers, Pokey Two, Tori Kelleher, Elizabeth Richardson, Roly Poly Toad, No Spoons Only Knives, Saber Sword Song, Mrs. Lugo, Despite Myself, Olivia Cat, Tori V, Lewis Christian, Jasmine Levon, April, Annie Autopsy, Clapalo, Kristen RB, Your Local Tiny Bastard, Point Blank Period, Lu Lula Duda, Phineas the Hedgehog, Helena H, Raven Star, Little B, Mine of Night Raid, Benjamin Soto, Angelina Rafut, and last but not least, Alicia. Thank you guys so much for giving me just a little bit of extra support. Don't forget, we do have a members only Discord. I love talking to you guys, it's been iconic. I love making new friends and, and new besties, and though everybody, regardless of your membership status, I wanna clarify, you're still a bestie because I still love you no matter what. Question of the day. What is your favorite way to have pasta? Are you like a pesto queen? Are you like a butter queen? For me, I like like a, just a classic spaghetti marinara meatball moment. Anywhere I go, if I see that on the menu, you best bet that's what I'll be getting. How about you guys? All right, besties. Thank you so much for spending precious minutes of your life with me. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for being patient with me always, even though my brain has been fricky. I have an appointment with my psychologist on Monday, so I think I'm gonna go back on my antidepressants. Hopefully things will be better soon because I was off for a little while, but <laughs> I need to be on. <laughs> I love you so much and I'll just, I'll see you soon. I hope you have a great day. Okay? Okay. Come on.